What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I've got the ultimate mocap to Unreal Engine 5.6 MetaHuman workflow within two minutes. All right, you guys? Um, but before we do the countdown of two minutes, um, I'm gonna first just give a quick intro about the motion capture system that I'm gonna be using. It's called Quick Magic. It's an AI mocap tool. It's free. Um, you can see in their pricing plan you know, they got the freemium 50 coins per month, which you can already get started with $10 a month. Honestly, that's like dirt cheap for this. Um, and I'm going to show you why I really love uh, using them because it's so quick and easy to use. Quick magic, like I said, it is it's pretty much quick magic. <laughs> um, what's great about using AI video is like you don't even have to do the mocap. Like I can find a video of someone doing a backflip and upload that video and basically get my mocap, right? Um, go into AI mocap here and I just import a video file as long as it's MP4, you know, compressed. Um, you know, there's certain like requirements for the video, like it can't be like a shaky video, preferably it should be static and, you know, at a certain like a eye level, the performer should be separated from the background. Uh, you know, small tips like that, which you can find on their website. Um, but you know, once you have that video or you can shoot your own video, like I shot my own video on a iPhone that I just set up and I got this video of me boxing. So I uploaded the video. It was pretty quick to uh, process and you can also choose the, um, the avatar. Like if I go here, once I import the video, um, you can choose which skeleton it goes to. And one thing to note is like you can even do face capture here. That's pretty crazy. Um, I haven't tried it yet, but today I'm going to show you guys the MetaHuman. Okay. Um, so for this one, I use the 5.6. It's still in beta, but I think it works pretty well. Um, but you know, you can also use the 5.5. It's the same skeleton as SK Mannequin. Um, but I went ahead and used the 5.6. And that's where I got this process recording. I also want to just note here that you can actually do cleanup within the software. If you go to 2D refinement, um, you can actually go frame by frame and really fix like the contact points of the feet. If you go to IK here, you can fix the contact points. And also, you know, if one of your joints is like out of place or something, you can actually um, fix that as well on the FK. So you know some minor fix up uh cleanup right here is pretty good i mean you'll probably do most of your cleanup inside unreal or you know maya or whatever but i think having this just as like something quickly you can do um, is pretty awesome all right so here i'm gonna go ahead and click download and it'll allow me to download um, my fbx file which i've already done which is why i'm not gonna do it again Okay, now you guys can start the counter, okay? We're gonna do this within, probably within two minutes, okay? Let's do a countdown right now, and go. So with Unreal Engine open, all right? I'm gonna go ahead and make a new folder. Demo. Open up that folder, right click, import to current folder, grab the FBX that we exported. When you're importing this, you're going to go to the animations tab and we're going to pick the SK mannequin skeleton because that's the skeleton that we export from Quick Magic from, right? So we just tell Unreal that that's the skeleton that the mocap is on. And I can even just say import only animations because I don't want any of the materials or anything like that. Go ahead and import. And boom, you got your animation sequence right here. Go ahead and save that. And now watch how easy it is. I'm going to grab my MetaHuman. Drag him into the scene. I'm going to go ahead and um, create a level sequence, which I've actually already done here. Yeah, this is from a previous. So, you know, right click, create a level sequence, grab your metahuman, drag him in here. Go ahead and delete the control rigs, including the face. Um, 
And one thing I forgot to do, go to my animation sequence here. Go ahead and double click on that. When I had this open, I should go to the skeleton right here. And it's the SK mannequin, right? You're gonna go to window, asset details. So it look like this. You're gonna click the plus icon and you're gonna tell this that it has a compatible skeleton with the MetaHuman uh, base skeleton because they're actually compatible if you didn't know that. Um, but this is just telling Unreal that it is compatible. Go ahead and save that. Now, if we go back into our animation sequence here, if I click plus here, go to animation, now I'll see my boxing animation. And there we have it. We've got the uh, mocap onto a metahuman within two minutes. Was that not quick? And was that not magical? All right, guys, leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, try out quick magic and let me know your, uh, your thoughts on this. Peace.